welcome to Off the Tent. I almost forgot where I was. I am off the tent, but I'm not in my normal spot. I'm in the garage. And as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this new series, I guess we want to call it, it's Garage Beer Wars. That's right. We're going to look at beers. I'm going to do a little bit of a challenge. There's going to be 12 beers together. Uh, we're going to face them off in kind of a single elimination battle. And because if I did double elimination, I'd be shammered. But uh, this is not all going to happen in one day. This is going to happen over, you know, a couple weeks or whatever. But we're going to do garage beers. Basically, those kind of beers that you have in your garage or when people come over, hang out. You're doing some yard work. You're doing whatever you want to do. And you don't want to crack open the fancy IPAs and the, you know, and the heavy stouts and stuff like that. Unless you're Greg, then you're having a stout all the time. Especially one that's around 12%. Um, other than that... So this is what we're doing, and today we're starting off with two used to be, I guess, craft kind of beers. Now they're AB InBev's and Molson Coors. So today, first one we're looking at, uh, we're going to actually go head to head. Um, basically, I'll just explain it as I go. Uh, but first, let's look at the beers. Today from uh, Lakeport, looking at the Lakeport Pilsner. Basically, this is now in uh, Labatt product now. This was bought out by Labatt a while ago. So... Yeah, that's what we're uh, we're looking at here for the first one. It's a Pilsner. It's coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can. And this one's a Pilsner, like I said. And we're going versus Carling. Carling Lager. Now this is a Molson Coors product. Um, yeah, this is a lager. It's coming in at 4.9%. So it's off by 0.1%. Close enough. Could be, you know, a garage kind of beer if you want. I mean, it's only... You know, I kind of wanted to keep it over 5%, but 4.9, whatever. It's it's not it's not the light. It's not the carling light. It's regular carling. So, um, now this is not going to be a really in-depth kind of, you know, my own opinion on this one. Basically, it will be in a, a my own opinion because the winner of, out of these 12 beers that I, the winner that, that I choose is going to be my go-to beer for the rest of the winter in the garage or doing yard work, shoveling the snow, doing whatever. Uh, so... <clears throat> with that being said, as I go through these beers, I'm not going to, you know, pick them apart like I would with a, uh, a regular, my own opinion or whatever, but I'm kind of going to be like, why do I like this one better? And then I'll declare a winner at the end of it. So let's get into this one. We're going to get into the carling first. We're going to pour it out into a glass. I'm going to pour the whole thing. So I'm going to be downing two beers. Why not? Just finish work. Perfect time. And I got to do some shit outside. All right, so here's carling being poured. I don't have water with me, but I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference. And I'm using a bucket. Couldn't be any more in the garage, right? So there's that. And here is the lake port. Please don't fall over. All right. I'm going to pour the lake port in. And give, give it a pour. All right, so one's a lager. One's a pilsner. We're going to see uh, which one I think I like better, and we'll move on to the next round. All right, so let's look at the Lakeport Pilsner. It's clear. It's Pilsner-like. It's a little, uh, I was going to say it's a little bit darker than the other one, but it's not, but it's actually coming off a lot darker on camera. Pour it off. Put a finger and a half ahead. Let's take a sip. Okay, this one's sweet. It's a very sweet Pilsner. Um... Nothing much other than that. It uh, it's nice and refreshing. Would I go back to this? We'll see. I'm gonna take another couple more sips. All right. Now that one's fresh in my head. I'm just gonna do a little mouth rinse. There we go. That was weird. Okay. Now let's look at carling. The lager. Pour it off with a little bit of head. Now it's all dissipated to. A film on top. Let's try it. Okay, it's not as sweet as the Lake Port Pilsner, that's for sure. Uh, this is a generic, like it poured off, looks like a typical lager, not a light lager. It's, it's that orange stray, stray, hay colored. Yeah, it's a typical lager. Now, the choices I have to make are which one do I like better? And I'll tell you which one I do like better. Alright, 
So I've got them both in my hand. Here's a lake for I'll do one more round of sips. Sure. What? <laughs> Get fucking hammered after work. Sure, why not? I've only been up since 3.30 a.m. All right, that's a lake for Here's the carling. You know what? There is a definite clear winner on this one. And my winner out of these two beers is going to be the Lakeport. The Lakeport Pilsner for me has a better taste to it, a better aftertaste as well too. It's a it's a sweeter it's a sweeter beer, but the Carling, to be honest with you, really doesn't taste like anything. It tastes more like um, like you're drinking tinny water, I guess. I guess the Lakeport Pilsner was on what I'm trying to say. Has a little bit more of a Pilsner quality, a little bit more lager to it. Um, I don't know if that even made any sense to you right there, but it gives me more of a beer flavor, I guess. For a garage beer, Lakeport Pilsner's going to take the cake. Anyway, I'm done with this first video out of the Garage Beer Wars. Winner this week or today. I might do another one in a minute. Get all fucking real fucked up. Lakeport Pilsner. Lakeport Pilsner wins this round. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, if you like what I'm doing here, click the like button, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye. Mm -mm -mm.